They gon' try double cross when the gang round Was getting dubbed by the bitch, she was thinking she the shit Now I'm out, yeah, they really tryna hang out Maybe I don't, maybe I don't know You was showing signs, you was a hoe Remember all the times that you ain't go What's good guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be doing my first upgrade on the Sauron. It's not a crazy upgrade, like a 72 volt battery or anything, but it's definitely one of the first upgrades I feel like the Sauron needs after my experience. And that is to upgrade the stock pegs and add a peg brace. All right, I got the package here. I ordered these parts from Amped Bros. Amped Bros is definitely the best place in Australia to buy anything electric. If you guys want a Sauron, Sauron parts, anything electric, click the top link in my description. Amped Bros will have it. So let's get into this package. Another package in the package, and another package in the package, lovely. These are the foot pegs, let's check them out. Oh yes, oh yeah. They look so nice, I went with black. Beautiful set of upgraded Suron pegs, and inside the other package, is the Suron peg brace. And this is gonna be going in between the pegs to give them some more support, because I have heard where the pegs are mounted, it can warp and even snap. And I have had my own experience where the two bolts holding the peg brace in got loose and it was like shaking around. That was after my last video riding the trails. So this is gonna help out so much along with the upgraded pegs. Enough talking, let's get into putting it together. Super excited. <laughs> Okay, gonna be starting off with putting on the peg brace first. So you take the right peg and mount off first, just like that. Then you get your peg brace and choose one of the holes to put it through. I'm just gonna put it through this one for now. And then go and put the mount back on, line up the bolts and the peg brace. I guess once everything's lined up, start screwing up the bolts. Do it with hand first. I learned that from my dad. I think everyone knows that anyway. And then tighten it off. I know there's a specific torque that it has to do, but I'll do that with my dad later. It also has these little blue marks, I guess, that indicate as to what it should be. Peg brace is on. That was a super easy installation. Difference between stock and the upgraded. Obviously a big, big difference. Got the spikes, better grip. This is a lot smaller. It's a lot bigger. Now I just gotta get it on the bike. Right side peg is on. That was actually really easy, thanks to the help from my dad. Now it's time to do the left side. And there we are, both of the upgraded pegs are on, sitting nicely, both sitting straight. And the peg brace is installed as well. Definitely a good first upgrade. Come back out to the dirt jumps and we've actually managed to get the Suron into the back of my car, into the back of the Subaru. I feel a lot more comfortable about it now because we have the peg brace and the new pegs, kind of more support when it's laying on the peg mount before I was worried that it would bend. Now the peg brace is there, I think it can take all the weight of the Suron, but now it's time for the difficult part, getting it out of the car. So lift the back, get on this side, ow, this is a lot harder whilst wearing a helmet, ow, I'm hitting my head on everything. And then we just... Lovely. It takes a lot of effort, but does the job. I really need to get a tow bar and a bike rack for this, but that does the job for now. Get the battery. Slot this guy in. Plug one, plug two. Breaker on. Good to go. Back on the dirt trails, out on the Suron. Which way is it? It is this way. Oh, flat landed that. See that flat land for the first run of the day? All right, so I'm thinking, because it's been raining like heaps the past couple weeks and it's just stopped raining the past couple days, I thought it would be enough time to let the, the ground get dry enough, but it's still a little bit too moist and I don't want to rip this place up at all. So I'm probably going to stop riding for today. I really wanted to test out the new pegs though, but I'm going to have to wait till it gets drier and in the next couple days, it's going to start raining like crazy again. So I'll see you guys in two seconds for you, but a long time for me when it stops raining and gives this track some time to dry. So got to be respectful always. Ah, damn bro, I just want to, just want to ride. I just want to ride, but this rain is screwing me over. Oh yes, finally nice and dry. It stopped raining for the past few days and gave the track some time to dry. It is perfect conditions to ride, nice and dry. Gonna get the Suron out and get testing out these new pegs, hit some jumps. Enough talking, it's time to ride. 
Let's go, finally back on the jumps. Yes, conditions are perfect. Yes, feels so much more stable. I don't know, I just have so much more trust in the bike now. And they definitely feel sharper on my feet. I can feel the grip for sure. So this jump right here has a big lip to the left. So I think on the next run, I wanna hit that. Oh, big case. Suspension can definitely take it though. Prep the steep ramp. Oh yeah, I case that. Yeah, I can do that for sure. It just sends you so much higher. So hopefully the suspension can take it. Woo. Oh, I think I need to give it a bit more. Woo. Luckily I installed this peg brace. Cause this, oh. I feel like this mount would definitely bend if I didn't have the peg brace. Woo. Hello there, I'm Rom Nomis. Hello. How'd that angle look? Oh, that's cool. Kind of a little afraid. Yeah. I'm not gonna come and kill you. <laughs> come up and just absolutely take you out on the jump, land on you on the down ramp. Go out, one hand out, just coat hanging. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice berm. Oh, that felt like a really good berm. Oh, oh, why did I try that? That was sick though. Step in. <laughs> Scared you there, didn't I? <laughs> Back to the main spot with the big jump. Let's test out the suspension and the foot pegs some more. Also, if you guys are wondering what the settings are on my GoPro right now, I'm shooting 2.7k at 60 frames per second with a shutter of 1 over 120 with an ND filter to get that nice smooth motion blow. Woo! Oh my god. And then it's color graded with my LUT pack, the optimized LUT pack, and the link for that is in the description if you guys want to pick it up. It's only $15. But yeah, if you guys want me to make a full video on my GoPro settings and color grading and everything, I'm down to do that if enough people ask for it. I'll definitely give it a go. That's cool if I can start learning tricks on the Sauron, that'd be fun as. <laughs> that was scary. So fucking ready to evacuate. If he's any closer, I'm jumping out. I'm climbing up this ledge. I'm doing a roll. Oh, oh shit, that's sick! I don't know what it's called, but I've seen it before and that felt so sick. Oh no, it definitely is starting to rain, I can feel it. This is going to be the last few runs of the day. That was good. Oh yeah, rain's coming down now. Damn, we're not going to be able to get the thumbnail, it's raining. Oh god, it's really... I'm going actually, yeah. No! Oh, I need to watch this clip. Oh, that clip looks so sick. Yep, it's starting to rain and I'm on an electric bike. We've got to get out of here. Retreat, he left me with the camera as well. Holy! It is coming down right now. Oh my god, it's raining so hard, bro. Well, that's gonna cut the ride short. Bike's a little bit wet. Oh, it's really wet. Let's get in the car. We gotta go quick. The bike is getting really wet. You only have one of them? I do only have one of these. Taking the bars off because it actually makes it like 20 times easier to get it in the car. 20? I'd say 20, yeah. Can you like be an umbrella for the bike somehow? With my body? Yeah. Go! Yeah, that's it. Oh, Tom, we're having a workout session, bro. Oh, we're having a workout session, are we? You know what an otter is? How do I describe it? Uh, I don't know, like a land platypus? Uh, oh my god, bike's getting wet. Oh. The car's getting wet. I thought we should have closed this. The car's getting wet. The battery's getting wet. Fuck! What, what are we doing with that? Are we uh, going to move it? This is intense high-speed shit right here. Nice angle, mate. Thanks, bro. That is the perfect angle. There we go. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in, it's in. That was intense.
And that is going to be it for this video. I got my first upgrades on the Sura and the upgraded foot pegs and the foot peg brace. I think those two upgrades are definitely the first essential upgrade you need to get on the Sura. While riding the bike, it just gives you so much more confidence in the durability of the Sura. It makes you feel like you can do bigger jumps. And yeah, as I said, you can just feel more confident in doing bigger jumps, harder trails, and just harder riding. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. If you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comments down below. Show this some respect. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I've been had the